Daddy, how was school today? It was great, Miss Kim. I got an A in my language arts test. Thanks for all your help. Wow, well that's great. And that's why I'm here, to help you all bring out the talents that you already have. Well, good job. Oh, and who might this be? Miss Kim, this is my little brother, Jaden. I had to bring him with me to the rec room today. Hi, Jaden. And what did you learn in school today? I learned so many things today. Wow, awesome. Well, we're always happy to have new friends here to learn with us. Great. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. Miss Kim, yeah. this is my teammate, David. He's coming to my house later. I'm going to tutor him in English. Oh, well, hi, David. Nice to meet you. So, I take it. English is not your favorite subject. Nope. Oh, okay. Well, what is your favorite subject? I don't have one. School is not for me. I'm just ready to graduate so I can become a professional basketball player. Hmm, I see. Miss Kim, David is our star player. And Coach says if he doesn't bring his English grades up, he won't be able to play in the championship game. Wow, well, David, it seems like we need to get your grades up. I mean, if basketball is something that you want to pursue for a career, then you must first pass your classes in order to graduate high school. Why does it matter anyway? I've already been held back in class two times. I'm never going to understand English class. <laughs> Ashley, David, I bet you already understand it. What do you mean? What I mean is English class deals with a lot of creative writing, and that's all about self-expression. Hmm, tell me. How do you feel about music? I love music. I love music too. We, we love it too. too. Wow, see I figure you all did. So who can tell me, what does music consist of? Mm -hmm. Songs. Yes. And what do songs consist of? Lyrics. Correct. And did you all know that lyrics are a form of poetry? Poetry? Yes, David, poetry. See, you've been a fan of poetry all this time, and you didn't even know it. And did you all know that you can use poetry to help express yourselves on a daily basis? Miss Kim, I did. Remember? Yeah. You helped me write a poem to express my feelings about my parents' divorce. Yes, poetry is a great way to express your feelings about anything. So, is poetry all about rhyming? Good question, Lisa, but no, it's not. Ashley, there's this really great book called Poetry is Not Just Rhyming, and it goes over several different concepts of poetry. I think I brought that book with me today. It's a bright yellow book. Um, where did I put that book? It's bright, it's yellow. Oh, thank you! Jaden found the book for us. I think he wants to learn about poetry as well. Great job. Thank you, Jaden. Well, I'm going to tell you all about my favorite type of poem. My favorite poems to construct are simile poems. That sounds difficult. Actually, David, a simile is a very simple poem to construct. It compares two things using the words like or as. So, Miss Kim, if I said I wanted to be as tall as a tree, would that be a simile? Yes, it would. Oh, I, I got it. It's because Nicole compared herself to a tree using the word as. Yes, now you all have it. You all see how simple poetry can be? And you said poetry can be used to express your feelings about anything? Yes, yes. it can. Miss Kim, can I read my poem that I wrote about my parents' divorce? Yes, you sure can. I used to be very sad. I did not understand what to do. When my parents divorced, I was so blue. Like the sky with no sun, and my sunshine was gone. But now I understand it's not my fault, and my parents love me. And in that, I have no doubts. Wow. Yes, great job, Tanya. Did you all hear how Tanya expressed her feelings using poetry? It's just that simple. Poetry is life, and life is poetry. Miss Kim, do you think I can write a poem? I sure do. What would you like to write about, David? Well, I like basketball, so I would like to write about that. But I don't want anyone to laugh at me because I'm not that smart. 
People laugh at me at school because I was healed back twice. That's why I don't even try in class anymore. The only place I feel I can express myself is on the basketball court. There, no one laughs at me, and I feel important. David, you are smart. Never let anything or anyone make you feel less than who you are. I mean, okay, you were kept back twice. That doesn't mean that you're not smart. It just means that you need to apply yourself more. The same way you practice basketball in order to better your game, if you practice writing and reading more, your English grades will improve. Just know, you are just as important off the court as you are on it. Wow, Miss Kim, I never thought about it like that. Okay, I'm ready to give this poetry thing a try. Hey man, we're teammates. I'll help you with your poem. Besides, you know us teammates, we gotta stick together. I'll help too. Hey, why don't we all help David with his poem? Yeah! yeah. And since we just learned about similes, why don't we help David write a simile poem? Yeah! yeah. Miss Kim, since you're writing a simile poem mm -hmm. and David wants his poem to be about basketball, how can we compare David to a basketball? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to let you all work together and figure it out for yourselves. I, I, I know. Well, we should first throw out words that can be used to describe a basketball. Then, words that can be used to describe David. Then, Miss Kim can write them on the board, and that will help us prepare our thoughts. Wow, well, great idea. I'm ready when you all are. Basketball's around. Oh, they are. And basketballs bounce. Oh, they do bounce. Oh, I know. David is tall. Oh, he is tall. Hmm. David can jump. Jump. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, David, since this is your poem, I'm gonna let you construct the first sentence. You can use the adjectives listed here to help you. Okay. Round, bounce, tall, jump. Miss Kim, I don't know. I told you I'm not good at this. David, we are here to help you. This is a safe zone. All of us here at the rec room, we want to see you succeed. Right, we want to see him succeed. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. You have nothing to be embarrassed about. Learning is fun, and I'm here to show you just how fun it can be. Yeah, David, we all want to help you. You'll see. We're going to figure this poem out together. Yeah! yeah! Thanks, everyone. Okay. Jump, jump. Okay, how about this? I can jump as high as a bouncing... Basketball? Yes, David! Yes! That's exactly correct! See, I knew you can do it! Wow! That sentence makes me envision David jumping really high! Yes, Lisa! Poetry helps you to create a visual picture with your words. Whereas David could have easily said, I can jump high. That statement doesn't give you the same effect as when he said, I can jump as high as a bouncing basketball. Do you all see the difference? Yes, we sure do. Great, okay, well let's continue on with the poem. I want to do the next sentence. Okay. Hmm, let's see. Miss Kim, mm -hmm. can we use other words that are not listed on the board? Yes, I want you all to create as many similes as you can. Okay, well the next line could be, I can run, as fast as lightning. Uh, okay, okay, I got it. 
That sentence compares David's running to lightning. Hey, I do run pretty fast. I'm beginning to like this poem. See, David, I told you, learning is fun. And look at all the wonderful things we're discovering about you. Yes, you're right, Miss Kim. I want to take the next line of the poem. Okay. Well, being that David and I are teammates, I have seen him in action. I remember this one game where he passed me the ball, and I thought to myself, wow, the ball is soaring in the air like an eagle. So I think the next line of the poem should be, when I pass the ball, it soars in the air like an eagle. Yeah, I like that, Marcus. See, even though I've never seen David play, your description has created a visual picture of David throwing a basketball very high and fast in the sky like a flying eagle. Yeah, way to go, Marcus. Oh, I think I have a line. Mm -hmm. Since Marcus said earlier that David is the star player on the team, my line is going to compare David to a star in the sky. Um, okay, okay. I'm the star of the game, and I shine like stars. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, Nicole. Stars shine bright and steal the scene, and that's exactly what David does when he's on the basketball court. Oh, okay. Well, let's compile what we have so far. I think one more sentence will conclude this poem. Now, where did we start? I can jump as high as a bouncing basketball. Yeah. I can run as fast as lightning. Yes. When I pass the ball, it soars in the air like an eagle. Yeah. I'm the star of the game, and I shine like stars. Okay, great. Well, does anyone have one more sentence? Let's see. Uh, uh, I would. Well, being that David said he likes to express himself on the basketball court, and poetry is all about self-expression. I think the next line should be... Basketball is like poetry to me. Wow, wow Lisa, Lisa, I like that. that. Yeah, Lisa, that was great. Wow, Lisa, I never thought about it like that. Basketball is poetry to me. So if I use the same enthusiasm that I have for basketball, when I'm in English class, I'm sure I'll excel in that as well. I think so too, David. Now, this is what I love to see. You all helping each other to excel. Miss Kim, can I ask you a personal question? Hello, I am Kimberly D. Worthy, author of Poetry Is Not Just Rhyming, and creator of Poetry in Life. With the help of the book, as well as the show, we aim to create an environment for youth that fosters healthy creative expressions and therapeutic conversations using poetry as a guideline. In today's society, the voices of our youth have been stolen by all of the negative forces that they encounter on a daily basis. Our goal is to prepare them with tools and life skills that they can use to overcome such obstacles. To learn more about our mission and to purchase your copy of Poetry Is Not Just Rhyming, please visit our website at www.kimberlydworthy.com. personal question? Um, sure. What made you become interested in poetry? Well, when I was about your age, I was bullied in school. And I was shy and I was afraid to talk in class. So I began to write down my feelings. But you know what? I began to feel so much better. Why do kids bully you, Miss Kim? Well, there's never a real reason for bullies to bully you, but I was bullied because I was smart. Many times kids are afraid to be smart 
because they don't think that's the cool thing to be. That's how I feel sometimes in school. I mean, it's not that I'm so smart, but I do know the answer to some of the questions in class. But I don't answer because people assume I don't know the answer. So I just play along with it. And it's exactly the reason you just stated. I'm afraid to be smart. Well, sometimes I feel the same way. Miss Kim, remember that Lunga Darts test I told you I got an A on? Yeah. Well, some of my classmates began to make fun of me. They said things like, I think I'm all that, and I'm lame because I like to read. Oh, no. I hate to hear that you and David are going through such nasty things. But I want you all to remember that being smart would get you everywhere in life. And not only being smart, but knowing how to express yourselves. Poetry, it was my answer for self-expression and it helped me in my life. Now, I'm here to help you all find your voice so you can express yourselves and be heard. Miss Kim, I wish people would stop being bullies. It makes me sad. Well, Lisa, it makes me sad as well. But, the good thing is, we have each other here to listen and to help you express how it makes you feel. Hmm, hey, why don't each of you talk about a bullying experience and express how it made you feel? Okay, well, I remember this one time on the school bus, this really mean girl named Julianne said that I was ugly. All the other kids started to laugh. It made me very sad. Well, do you think you're ugly? Uh, no. Remember, it matters not what others think, but how you think about yourself. Hmm, tell me something about yourself that you like. Hmm, I like that I'm a good friend. Good! From now on, when someone tries to make you feel bad about yourself, I want you all to write down Five things about yourself that you love because only you know the truth about who you are. And I want you all to constantly read that list. And if people are not saying the things that are on that list, then you know they're lying. Miss Kim, that's a great idea. I'm going to start doing that today. Hey, why don't we all start our list right now? This way we can all learn the wonderful things about each other that we already know to be true. Yeah! And to make things simple, I'll start the list off with five things about myself that I love. Okay, let's see. Hmm. I know. I love that I'm a good listener. And... I love that. I love to help others. Okay. Hmm. I love that I have a big heart. Okay. Hmm. I don't really like clutter, so I love that I'm a very organized person. Okay. And, well, you all are my friends, so I love that I make friends easily. Thank you. Wow, Miss Kim, I didn't know all those things about you. See, Tanya, that's the purpose of our exercise, to learn about each other's strengths. I want to go next, but first, I want to tell you all about a bullying story. Okay. Well, I used to be a bully. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my everyone, gosh. Please. Please. Everyone be quiet! Hello. As you all are about to witness, there's two sides to every story. Whereas we are often prone to only consider the victim's voice when it comes to bullying, we must not forget that bullies need to be heard as well. With bullying becoming a nationwide epidemic, it is imperative that we get to the root cause of bullying. By fostering a non-judgmental environment, kids will feel more comfortable expressing themselves and talking about issues that may lead to bullying.
bully. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my everyone, gosh, please! Everyone, please. everyone be quiet! Please stop it, everyone! Tanya has the right to express her feelings. Okay, Tanya, please carry on. Well, during the time of my parents' divorce, I had a lot of anger inside of me. I didn't understand what was going on with my parents. So I started to take out my anger on others. But after Miss Kim showed me how to express myself with poetry, all my anger left. I also later apologized to everyone I bullied. Yeah. See everyone, it's important to know that bullies bully people because they're hurting inside and they don't know how to express their emotions so they take their anger out on others. Well, Tanya, are you now ready to tell us five things about yourself that you love? Yes, Miss Kim. Awesome. Hmm. I love that I love my parents. Oh, okay. Hmm. I love that I'm good at poetry. Oh, great. Hmm. Oh. I love that I can hold my breath underwater for <laughs> 20 seconds. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I love that I have long hair. Oh. Oh, nice. And I love that I come to the rec room every day. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Okay, well, who's next? I'll go. Okay. I also would like to start with my bullying story first. Well, I remember this one day, I saw my friend being bullied at school and I did nothing to help. I knew I should have told a teacher, but I was too afraid to express myself. Everyone, it is very important to tell a trusted adult when a situation such as bullying is occurring. By expressing yourselves, it can help stop someone else from being bullied. Now that I know different ways to express myself, I will never sit back and watch someone get bullied again without letting an adult know. Awesome. Okay, now I'll do my list. Okay. I love that I'm a really good teammate. Oh, awesome. And I love that I'm good in English class. Oh, great. Mm. I love that I'm tall. tall. And I love I can play many sports well. Oh, wow. And I love that I have a puppy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Marcus. Way to go. Great. Well, who's next? Okay. I'll go next. Oh, awesome. Okay. Mm. I love that I'm a good friend. Yeah, oh, you are. Awesome. I love that I'm pretty. Oh, nice. I love that I have a little brother. Oh, Jaden. I love that I can sing. Nice voice. And I love that I can dance. Oh, okay. Great. Thank you, Lisa. Awesome. Well, who's next? Okay, I'll go. Okay. I love that I'm a great reader. Oh, awesome. I love that I have perfect attendance in school. Oh, okay. Um, oh. I love that I could draw really well. Hmm, let's see. Wow, you drew that? Oh, wow. wow. Um, I love that I can make my own clothes. Ooh, you yeah. that? a prom dress. Oh, sucky, sucky now. Work it, girl. <laughs> yes. And I love that my name is Nicole. Thank you, Nicole. That was great. Okay. Well, who's next? Okay, I guess I'll try. Okay, great. I love that I can play basketball well. Ooh, okay. I love that. Oh, I learned how to write a simile. You did? Yeah. I love that I'm not afraid to be smart. Great. I love that I'm going to pass my English class. Oh, you are. We're, We're going to win, win the championship. championship. And I love that, um, I love that, 
Miss Kim, this is challenging. See, David, when you concentrate on the positive things about yourself, it forces you to block out the negative. Now, you don't have any time to worry about what a bully thinks about you because you're too busy thinking of good things to say about yourself. Okay. I love that I met wonderful people today who have helped and gained confidence in myself. Oh, awesome! Thank you, David. It's wonderful to have met you and even more wonderful that you've learned so many good things from us today. Now, everyone has an anti-bullying device to use when you're faced with a bully. See, who knew that poetry, self-expression, and creative writing were such useful life skills? Miss Kim, how many concepts of poetry are there? Well, the book I mentioned earlier, Poetry Is Not Just Rhyming, covers 17 concepts of poetry. Wow, 17? Yes, 17. And I encourage each of you all to become familiar with the book because it goes deeper into several forms of poetry that you all can use on your journey of self-expression. Yes, we will. Thanks. Yeah, awesome. Great. Oh, what is this? Oh, what is this, Jaden? I think Jaden wrote us a poem. Wow. Jaden, would you like to read your poem to everyone? No? Okay. Well, can I read your poem to everyone? Great. Let's see. Hmm. I like to play. My toys are as fun as a roller coaster. I like to play with my sister. Oh, great job, Jaden. Wait. Did you all hear that? What? Jaden wrote a simile. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't even realize that he was listening to that extent. See, poetry is for everyone. Poetry is life, and life is poetry. Great job. Awesome. It's poetry. It's learning.